Question. You're at a cocktail party and you meet people and you start mixing and mingling. Do you ask everyone, hey, are you pre-approved? Before we start talking, are you pre-approved? Do you have a mortgage? Have you talked to a loan officer? No, you don't. Nobody does it that way. So I'm going to get into relationship building, lead generation, socializing, networking, and my ideology around it and how it can help you grow your business to an extreme level in just a minute. I'm going to cover all that. Before I get into it, guys, it's me. It's Ozzy Ramirez, Agents Empowering Agents and the AskOzzy.com real estate team with eXp Realty. And I just love helping people grow their business. And I wanted to get down... Um, on the topic of relationships, socializing, networking, all that good stuff. <clears throat> so I said it before, when you're at like a cocktail party or let's say go your net networking mixer, do you run around the room saying, hey, are you pre-approved? Or, no, you don't. Do you run around the room like asking everyone, are you looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate? More than likely you don't. If you do, you probably haven't figured out how to play this game properly and you need a better coach and you need to work on some things. I, I do give you points for your... Um, just going out there and trying your best, but it's not the best way to market and build business. So let's dig into it. So relationships in general, they're a huge part of business. It's what we do. If if a millionaire says, hey, I'm a millionaire in real estate, I've sold a lot of real estate, this, that, and the other, I'm looking for someone to help me buy more properties. Um, do you turn them down? Do you, you know, before I'll talk to you, I need a proof of funds um, or I'll need to make sure you're pre-approved. You know, if you do, maybe you've just built an amazing business where nobody can get to you and, and you're just that special. And for the rest of us, especially the newer agents in the business, um, I find a lot of people, they, they're being taught like, hey, uh, um, when, when you're talking to a, a prospective buyer, seller, whatever, um, don't meet with them unless they're pre-approved. Get them with the lender first before you ever meet with them and have a conversation with them. And, uh, you know, I can see where that could save you time and I can see the mentality around that. Here's the problem with that. The problem with that is that this is a relationship business. And there's a really good chance that real estate agents have done that to people. So somebody shows up, calls somebody, the real estate agent says, no, we're not going to talk unless you're pre-approved. That person begins to feel um, unwanted, they've been again to feel unworthy, like nobody gives them the time of day. And if it happens enough time, they start feeling bad about agents in general, like to hell with them, we don't need them. For me, especially the newer agents, why not meet with that person? Why not sit down, give them the education, do a buyer consultation, talk to them about the home buying process, um, talk to them about getting a mortgage, talk to them about credit, talk to them about finding homes, all that stuff, like educate them pour into them and give them something for absolutely free. Give them an education for free. And you say, but Ozzy, that's a waste of time. They're not pre-approved. Here's the deal. When you're giving someone an item of value that an item of value like that, a gift for free, you're blessing them. And they're going to be, they're going to be like, man, I, I can't believe it. I've been turned down by two other people. They don't want to talk. They don't care about me. But this guy, Ozzy, he sat down. He had a conversation with me. He coached me, talked to me. He even gave me this home buyer's book and taught me all about buying a home. It was freaking awesome. What do you think is going to happen the next time that person meets someone, has an uncle, a cousin, whoever says, hey, um, I'm interested in buying a house. I'm thinking about selling my house. They're going to say, I, I know a great agent. His name is Ozzy. He met with me. He went over the whole buyer consultation. I wasn't even approved, and he taught me everything I need to know about buying a house. He's freaking awesome. So everyone you're, you're building relationships with and educating and training and all this stuff, they're not just prospective clients. They're prospective business partners. They can go out and tell other people about you. They can be raving fans for your business, which is what you need if you really want to succeed at a high level. So guys, don't write everyone off because they're not pre-approved. Here's another one I hear. Um, I, I don't really deal with uh, lot listings of properties under 50,000 or 100 or whatever. Everybody's got, some people got their number, whatever. Here's the deal. There are a lot of people that own a $50,000 lot that could own a million dollar house. There are a lot of people that could own a small $80,000 lot that could own an entire business who wants to sell an entire building one day. That person that has that $50,000 lot may want to buy, sell, list, invest 15 houses with you. But because the lot was too small and the price wasn't big enough, you want to reject them. Guys, 
there is absolute power in relationship relationship building. There's absolute power in giving people something for free. There's absolute power in taking care of human beings. Human beings know other human beings. They can refer you more people. It's an amazing thing. Get to know them. Build a relationship. Who knows what can happen from that? Synergies, all kinds of stuff, right? Now, the next one, this is one that kind of drives me a little bit crazy, is um, agents that I start talking to and they're like, hey, I'm interested in joining your team. I'm like, great, let's set up a time. Let's sit down and meet and let's have a conversation. Then they cancel. And then they say, I changed my mind or I'm too busy or all these different type of things. And all I can think is like, Man, I'm I, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I've been in this business for 17 years. I've moved over 2,000 properties. I've learned a lot of crap in my day. I've screwed up so much crap that I, I just, I've, I've just gotten better because I've screwed up so much crap. I'm good. And I know what I'm doing because I've made so many mistakes. That's, that's part of experience in being in this business. If you, if you could sit down with someone who's made millions of dollars in real estate, owns dozens and dozens of properties, knows how to flip, knows how to invest, knows how to raise funds to buy investment, has a team that moves hundreds of properties a year, whether you want to join them or not or whatever, wouldn't it be a good idea just to sit down and have a conversation with that person? Heck, even if they don't produce a lot of business, even if they're not super successful, even if they're someone who hasn't been in the business forever, Value human beings and sit down with human beings. On a weekly, daily, monthly basis, I sit down with dozens of people. I have about 15 sit downs a week. Some of these people I will never do business with. Some of these people don't have two pennies to rub together. Some of these people aren't new. They're brand new in the business. They have very little to offer, all these different things. Um, Some people aren't pre-approved. But if they say, hey, Ozzy, I got a question. Can, can we talk? Can we set up an appointment? Yeah. Why not? Hop on a call with them. Ask them, how can I serve you today? What can I do for you today? If someone wants to talk to you about real estate, about business, about anything, partnerships, investing or whatever, and they're willing to take time out of their schedule, and I don't care how important or non-important you may think they are, meet with them have a conversation you may you may create your next raving fan you may help them on a situation that can change their life that's awesome blessings that's amazing right you may create a business relationship that develops resources that can help you in your business for years to come or you may just find a friend not the worst thing in the world so guys stop turning down appointments stop missing appointments stop not being not not treating people like they're important and they're worthy value people value the appointments have the conversation build relationships pour into people everything you got in your head give it away teach people as much as you can you'll build relationships you'll make new friendships it'll build resources it'll build financial opportunities partnership opportunities like the door opens to the whole world when, when you build relationships at a massive level and you give people everything you got, it's game changing. But yet some of you guys think you're too important to be talking to average or regular people or non-approved, pre-approved people. Or it, when you're talking to somebody you're like, oh, I'm not really interested in joining a team. I don't care if you're interested in joining a team. Let's just have a conversation. What if there's one thing that I could teach you that could make you $10,000 a month for the rest of your life or $200,000 a year for the rest of your life or help you find that next investment property that's going to cash you $60,000 or a fourplex that can pay you for years to come. What if we had that conversation and I could help you that information? And um, I heard this saying a long time ago. It's, it's never say no to an opportunity until you know 100% without a doubt what the opportunity is. Too many people aren't passing on opportunities and they could be missing on the biggest opportunity of their life, but they don't know because they they think too much and overthink it and they devalue people and all these different things. Stop doing that. Give people just basic human value. I love you. I want to spend time with you. Let's talk. Let's build a relationship. Who knows what can happen? Who cares? I don't know. Nothing could come from it. But if one thing comes from it, that's why we met. Let's get to know each other. How can I serve you and how can I help you today? 
when you begin living like that and believing it and pouring into people and building relationships, it changes everything. Take it from me, guys. I've learned the hard way. I've learned a lot of different lessons in this business. But go out there and build relationships. Pour into people. Give them your knowledge. Give them your resources. And watch how it changes your life. So, like I said, guys, never say no to an opportunity until you know 100% what that opportunity is. And also just get out there and talk to people. Socialize, network, build relationships, but do it with a giving heart. I'm here to give to you. How can I help you? How can I support you? Is there a resource I can give you to help you out? When you do it that way, it'll all come back tenfold. Guys, I hope this helps you. I hope this helps at least one person build a better business, build better relationships, or whatever it may be. Once again, it's me, Ozzy Ramirez, with the AskOzzy.com real estate team out of Houston, Texas, with agents empowering agents. Um, check out our Facebook page. Check out our YouTube channel, all that good stuff. I give away all the free information I possibly can. If there's anything I can help you with, you give me a shout. Love you guys. Take it easy.